I'm delighted to welcome you to today's study of the Mass, the source and the summit of our lives in Christ. I'm Monsignor Jim Maroney, the author of The Mass Explained, and in this first session, we'll explore where the Mass came from and what it means today. Let's start by returning to the catacombs, deep under the streets of early Christian Rome, where the Church buried its dead in the first centuries. This is a fresco in the catacombs of St. Priscilla, which might well date back to the early 4th century. It shows the Mass in its earliest form in a house church, a Domus Dei or Domus Ecclesiae. Gathered around the priest who acts in the person of Christ, the Christian community fulfills what the Lord commanded to take, bless, break, and give the bread and wine, which becomes his body and blood in memory of him. Now stop and imagine last Sunday morning in your parish church. You didn't sit around a table, but gathered around an altar. You weren't in someone's home, but in a very beautiful church. A lot has changed in these intervening millennia, but the basics have stayed the same. Priest and people still gather to fulfill the Lord's command, the words which we recall from the Last Supper, the first Mass in the upper room just a few days before Christ was to suffer, die, rise from the dead for us. We still listen to the Holy Scriptures. We still present the gifts of bread and wine, joined with the gifts of our lives. The priest still places them upon the altar and joins them with the perfect sacrifice which Christ offered for our salvation on the wood of the cross. And in a very real way, we are at one at Mass with all those first Christians in the catacombs and with every Christian who's ever gone to Mass in every time and place. In Christ, time and space don't seem to matter much. All that matters is He who is our Alpha and Omega, our yesterday and tomorrow, who is our beginning and end, is with us today in the Holy Eucharist. So let's take a journey together, you and I, a journey down through the ages from the time of the martyrs to the first great basilicas to all the renewals called for by popes through the church's life. And let's finally embrace the renewal called for by the fathers of the Second Vatican Council nearly a half century ago. They called for full, conscious, and active participation of everyone at Mass to be considered before all else in reforming the sacred liturgy. And I guess that's what you're doing today as you seek to understand the Holy Mass, the source and summit of the entire Christian life, the Mass explained in today's study, and to which Christ invites us every day of our lives.